previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! Kimmy! Kimmy! When you cover yourself in their smell, you rub the walking guts all over you. I can't tell you from what them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. Let's go. That's not the Kemi I know in there. I thought I could save him. Just gonna keep it. Ah! We can clear 
together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just... You guys are fine. Just go. I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. Cluster of walkers. There's too many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just what we need. Okay. Just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Fall behind, I can't come back for you. Everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. Yeah, be lucky. I 
I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Jane, do you know anything about... No, I don't. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food. Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless. And you can't protect it. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it! Right? Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides... Where's everyone else? We were hoping you would know. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot. No way we can stay here long term. I told you. That's why we're waiting. And as soon as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. Well, what does Kenny want to do? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it, but it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. I've seen Kenny like this before. Do you think he'll... I don't know, snap out of it? I don't know. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? It's better than leaving him to go through this all alone. I know, it'll be hard. But it might be best. Clem, just remember, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny.
You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. I'm just worried about worried, you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred if you do nothing. I did what I thought was right. It was all I could do. All you could do because of you. Sarita is dead, and you're telling me you did all you could do. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's being a jerk. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, honey. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to? I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before, and, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other, turning on you. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through, he's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not, but sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew, but... Groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. 
Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. What, what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. But these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently they weren't walkers, were they? Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my haircut like this. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. Could jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. We have to tell the others. Yeah! Sarah! Yeah, yeah. Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. your friend. You should do this. Goodbye. 
Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. It never gets any easier, does it? As in for me. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. sound too good. Clock's ticking. How do we find them? Start by getting a better look. How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Nice work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> I'll take out the knees first. Then what are you doing? put a knife Why in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. It's gonna take some work to get over there. There's too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Why? Why? Maybe we can get them to move. of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be Hold able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? Let's make some noise. Right. What's going to grab their attention? Okay. Just calm down. I got you covered. Keep it going somehow. Let's find a way to keep it on. We can't stay here. Yeah. 
What are you thinking? Just listen to me. If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. Gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. this hurry sir please who's out there luke clem oh thank god did nick find you he made a run for it looking for help i i saw him outside look he was out there but we took care of him you know I heard y'all banging through the door. We gotta get moving. I'll second that. Well, I would have left already, but I, I got Sarah here, and I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look, look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you that they're okay. Mm -hmm. Sarah, come on. We we have to go now. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just... Uh, I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. What if we help her to her feet and just get her moving? No, no, it, it's not gonna work, okay? She freaks out anytime you get near her. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So we, we gotta get her up or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. I need you to listen to me, okay? It's important. I've lost so many people, but it's made me stronger. I've learned to take care of myself. Things aren't like they were before. Everything is hard now. Mm. You say that like it's so easy. Not everyone can be like you, but you can be too, Sarah. I wish that were true. <laughs> Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? All we got. 
Clem, there's no time! Clem. We can't be kids anymore, Sarah. You need to grow up, or you'll die. There aren't any other choices. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you! What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here! Help me hold this! Clem, see what you can find. Can we use this? It's not big enough. The fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? On three. One, two, three! Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! Okay, go, go! Keep pushing! Go! We need you up top. Okay, come on! Clem! Sarah, we have to go! Are you listening? Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her! Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Look, I know what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. Save her, Glenn. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, 
You can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. Did she get turned? Do you know? When she didn't follow me over, I didn't have the guts to go back and see for myself. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. I hope I did the right thing. I think you did. Come on, let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait. Wait, where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? No, I don't think so. I was afraid of that. I don't know anything. Mike sure as hell doesn't. I don't even know how to ask Jane. And that just leaves... Kenny. He went in there after he left said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. We need your help, with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death? Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katja. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That 
baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. And that means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing. And blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike. Think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah, you just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mike a hand looking at the museum, but... I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her, make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah, I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll go with Mike and Bonnie. All right, well, let's get going. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. I guess that's the place there. Fuck. It's a wreck. You ain't even been inside yet. Just look at it. Glass all blown out, walkers hanging around. Well, no way to find out until we go and check it out for ourselves. Maybe we can still find something. Yeah, maybe. Sorry. I just really want sticking with y'all to work out. And it's been hard so far. How about you make it up to us by helping out with those walkers up there? Yeah, all right. Jane showed me a good way to attack them. If you take out a knee, they always fall. And then you can stab them in the back of the neck. Hmm. A good smack to the head's always done fine for me. before more of them show up. Watch out for the broken glass. It's all over. Okay. Somebody's already been through here. Guess that's not a surprise. Still, might be something worthwhile left. Let's check it out. We need to look fast, so we can get back to the others. Let's just make a sweep. I really don't want to go back empty-handed. 
Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deep. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. Do you think these work? Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people? Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I'd blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. That's something. Yeah. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh... We can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Lee would have loved this place. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Empty. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. Nothing but junk in there. Trust me. Clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from... Happened. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. No problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water.
Hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. Just... That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Over here! With the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it does. There's a few folks that could use a hot meal. It's probably for the better. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. How long did your son take? How you doing, Beck? Okay. I'm okay. How did you guys make Museum's out? Museum's a bust. All glass walls shattered. It'd be impossible. And it was picked over pretty good. Lots of folks probably been there before us. We found some water, though. Oh, that's good. Nice work. Good. Good. We save all of that for Rebecca. Anybody else gets a thirst, you can go to the river. you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's going to be a girl. Oh yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh shit. I got this. I'm worried that we ain't seen Jane in a while. Go check on her, would you? Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. What are you thinking about? I'm worried about Rebecca. Having a baby can be rough enough on a woman, even in a nice, clean hospital. Does she even have a shot out here? Hey, 
that walk seemed longer to you on the way back. No, but thanks for carrying the water. I didn't realize how tired I was until I put it down. I need to rest up a bit. Seems like folks appreciated it, though. Well, that's good. Maybe they'll come around after all. Come on, Clem. Go catch up with Jane. Hey, Clementine, up here. Oh, hey, museum was a bust, huh? We found water, a lot of it. Well, that's something at least. Check this out. A skate still locked. Which means that, hopefully, no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. I've been trying to get it open, but it's locked pretty tight. If it's locked, maybe there's still food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh... It wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Find anything? No, not even trash. Guess it's broken. There were more cannons in the museum. Mike said they're just for show. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Oh. Yeah, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. I'll distract him so you can sneak up behind him. Good call. Shit. Hide now.
okay. I just want to talk to you. Who are you? I'm Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns! Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please! Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried! Hey! We've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it! Clementine, we need people that stuff! People are suffering just as much as yours! You are not special! Clementine, yes, you might... You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? We should go get everyone else. Yeah. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Are you any better? Is anyone? Whoa, whoa, hold on. I, I didn't mean... I just want to survive. And that means picking the right sides.
I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. G Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Uh, What's going on? Well, uh, I mean. In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here, Kenny? What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Oh, God. Oh, she, she, uh... Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right Shit. over here. Shit. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to help. Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. I'm staying with you. Fine, fine. Help her relax. Alright. Just try to calm down. Stop telling me to be calm. Oh, oh shit. I try to think about Alvin. What he would say if he was here. Don't do that. Don't do this. Clem, this may you stop. Please. This baby is coming, like or not. <laughs> you can do this. You've gone through too much to give up now. Okay, okay. I can talk. Just don't let go. Good, good. Clem, we need to get out there and help the others. I've got this. Keep shooting! They are not getting up here! We're gonna run out of ammo! Put us up to the block this gate! Help us! We could block the gate with this! I'll help them, come! Together. Ready? Oh, shit. What the fuck is going on out there? Get back! Get back! Oh, shit! Gee! Oh. Sarah, hang on! Fuck! Fuck, hurry! 
me! I can't hold on! Come on! Jane! Save Sarah! Are you crazy? There's no way she's getting out of that! Pull me up! It's suicide! Just pull me up! We can't leave her without even trying! Just go! Okay! Sorry, Clem. I tried. It just wasn't enough. Thank you for going down there. It wasn't your fault. Push! Oh, shit. They're climbing up. What? They're gonna make it up here. Fuck! Does this shit ever end? Hey, we need to break the rest of the deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know, just look around! This ain't working! Ain't gonna work! It's too thick! That the whole thing comes down. Boost me. They're getting closer. Clementine! Move it! Come on! I'm going as fast as I can. Watch it! Son of a bitch! Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? Well, what are we gonna do now? We can't stay here, can we? I've gotta rest. It's getting colder. Clementine, I can't think about that right now. We'll think of something. Just not this second. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. Sister. <laughs> Here, 
Let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Go? Go where? Just... away, okay? You know, Jamie, Sarah... I'm not gonna stick around and... and watch it happen to you two. You know the score. You're a smart kid. But... I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. But make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. Oh, when push comes to shove... Can... can I go with you? No, you can't. That's not how this works. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. Hey. Thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? No. I guess we all got stuff on our minds. The temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while, you know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit... Childish? God damn it, Jane, you know, just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. Kenny's just trying to protect the group. Well, coming down on me isn't helping you. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else! Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now, got it? So get your shit Jane, together. Where's my baby? Is everything alright? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. 
Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at, at the least. We've got that baby formula. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have left right away, instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We can still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. You're not helping anything by arguing. Well, don't forget you agreed with me about waiting to leave camp until today. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Over here. It's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Oh, it's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash her. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being Shh. weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. What is this? Меня слышно? Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. Huh. All right. Hello. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. What do you need? How can we help? I need, uh, uh, things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. 
Whoa, whoa, hang on. What the hell? Why get excited? No, you aren't taking anything from us. They are not telling me to ask. So what is Josh? I wish we could have met differently, Clementine. You were kind. That is not common. What did that happen? This can be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. If you put your guns down, we will too. Опусти оружие сейчас! I... I... Arvo, что происходит здесь? The fuck is she saying? If I get excited, I will not let them touch that bagel. You have a baby with you? У них грудничковый ребенок. Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, просто возьми оружие сейчас. И слишком много. Бурико, отойди. Drop that now, or I'm gonna fucking shoot it. I'll do it. Drop it. Drop it. Don't fucking don't move. I said don't move. Ты хочешь умереть? Ты думаешь, что я хороший мужчина? Бурико, Бурико, остановись! Опусти оружие! Тебе не зачем это делать! Не стреляйте! Я не хочу умирать! 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 Я